Hi everyone. Recently a couple of other artists have suggested some watercolors to me and I thought I would give them a try. Judy Christie has said that Jane Davenport Bright Palette was really good. So I'm, you can see I'm using the heck out of it. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to show you. Let's see what color is this one. I know I swabbed it I think. No I didn't. I didn't swab this one. Oh, there I go again. But anyway, this is the yellow, which I think is buzzy. But look how bright this is. It's gorgeous. I love that shade. Then, next to that comes a reddish color. Kind of a plum. I mean, these are just brilliant colors. I really, really am enjoying working with these. And then we have a purplish blue, which I really like a lot. Mm, there goes that lighting again. And this is my favorite of all of them. As you can see, it's got quite a little dip in it. I've been using it a lot. Look at this. I love this color. Love it, love it, love it. And here's a darker green. Really like these colors. And here's the fluorescent type green. I don't know. I'm just looking at some of these paints thinking, oh, there's Amy's papers. Just so pretty. And this is looking blue on camera. It's not. It's a dark green. Then, of course, we have my pink. And we have a darker pink. This is a darker plum, burgundy-ish. And they're not expensive at all. Here's the purple. Look at the purple. Oh, I love that color. I don't even like purple. I like this Jane. And you know, I'm not a big fan of a lot of Jane Davenport stuff, but I'm loving this watercolor. Look at that dark purple. Look how beautiful that is. This is just a great little kit of watercolors. And here is a really dark blue. Like a denim. Love them. I do love everything about these watercolors. I will be buying more watercolors. Okay, so let's just over and let it dry before I close it. And then, let me write on here, this is Jane Davenport. Um, Laura, a rich Jersey crafter, had bought this set of Paul Rubens. So, they looked so fantastic on her screen that I bought the same set. Hey, stop, stop. Come on, straighten up. Okay, so this color is Opera Yellow, and I'm going to do my best just to do a tiny little dot, but sometimes I get heavy handed, and then take a damp brush, let me find one I haven't used yet, just to show you the color of it. Look at that. It's almost a fluorescent yellow. I love it. I do, I'm doing a lot of whimsical 
so these colors and this Anna Davenport would go great for the whimsical. This is Opera Golden. I mean, I wouldn't use it for any of my serious painting, but, well, I don't know, I might. <laughs> it all depends. Now, which brush do I just have in my hand? This one. That, that is a neon orange. Gorgeous paint. Just gorgeous paint. And this is Opera Orange Red. And I bought all three of these that I'm going to show you tonight on Amazon. Just a little dot. You can see I'm barely using any paint. Look how much it makes. I mean, it's... Wow. I even love it. So, the next one is... Opera Orange. Wasn't that one out for orange? Maybe not. It's a little darker. And I have never used Paul Rubens watercolors before. So I'm glad Laura showed them. This looks the same as that. Well, no, maybe. It's a little different. It's a little more fluorescent. This one is... um. Opera Light Red. That's pretty cool. That's almost like a faded brick color. Between a, I don't know, between an orangish red and a peach. Pinkish. The inside of a watermelon. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, this one is um, Opera Red. What was that one? Oh, Opera Light Red. Okay, we're getting technical here on the colors. Which just goes to show, guys, you don't have to spend a fortune to get good quality watercolors to use. I mean, both of these sets so far have been very reasonably priced. And as you can see, I'm just using a tiny dot, and this is thick. If I wet it down more, I'm going to get a whole lot more coverage with it. So this is Opera Rose. Ooh, I like that. That's similar to the Davenport pink, darker pink. I like that color. Okay, after Opera Rose, we have Opera Pink. I don't know why the word opera is on everything, but it is. I guess maybe it's part of their trademark. Ooh, I did too much on that one. I heard the word pink and got excited and squeezed too much out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this a lot. Yes, I do. A whole lot. I really like that. This is Opera Peach. And yeah, they're tiny tubes, but you don't need a lot. 
to make it go far. Pretty. I like it. I don't see peach though. I don't see any peach in that. I don't know. To me, peach is kind of an orangish color, and that's pink. <coughs> okay, what is this one? This says opera violet. Uh oh. Drop my cap, I'll get it in a minute. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I like it. It makes some beautiful flowers. Okay, this one is Opera Purple. I'll hold on to that cap this time. Oh my yes, it's purple. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And y'all know I'm not a purple fan. That's a gorgeous shade of purple. So what do we have here? We have... Opera... Opera... Ultramarine. depends on how much water you add to it as to what shade you're actually going to get. You can lighten them up. You can darken them. So yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, this is um, just opera blue. So how is the aquamarine different from the blue? Let's see, shall we? Just a shade lighter, but nice. I like the shade. Now, I have used this one a lot, and I really, really like this one. This says it is just opera green. And I'm telling you the colors like this because I do believe I saw it on Amazon where you can buy separate cubes of it. And to give you an idea, maybe which kit you want to buy. It is pretty. That's just a pretty green right there. I don't care what anyone says. That is a pretty green. I really like that green. So, let me just stick this aside for a second. Now, the last watercolor set I bought is also Paul Rubens. But it has more in it. It's the big boys. So if it's already on here, I'm not going to swatch it. So this is Oh no, this is a lemon yellow. So let's see how this is different from just the regular opera yellow. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe it's in the kit names that makes it different. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. That is very vibrant yellow. I love that yellow. Oh, yeah. Love it. So, this one is... Help me out here, folks. Put the code words where you see it. This is... Something yellow. Oh, it's in three different languages. It's yellow. Okay. But it's not a li Oh, gosh, I did too much. But it's not lemon yellow. I really like that lemon yellow a lot. Yeah, I like this too. I really like this too. This will make some gorgeous flowers and sunflowers and so forth. Yep, love it. I gotta come over and get some different water. Okay, this is Indian yellow. what I call mustard yellow, but yeah, I like the color. I like the vibrance of these colors. I really like these colors. So, what's next? Orange. So, this is just, it says orange red. Mm, we shall see. Woo! Comes out a little stringy there. You know, that's the bad thing about being in Florida. You have to use your paints fast. You really do. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, but, you know, it'd be pretty if I was doing pumpkins or something to that effect, but I'm not an orange fan, so, yeah, it's a pretty color, but, well, I use it likely not much. Um, Scarlet. It's odd how they don't have the color name in the same place on each tube. So that's why I'm having to go, um, because I'm having to hunt for the name on the tubes. Yeah, that's kind of a blood red. Pretty. But it's definitely dark. And this one is just red. I think they got them backwards. I really do. We'll see. I think they got them backwards. I think they put the wrong color in the wrong tube. Because this looks more scarlet and that's kind of a I don't know. Now that it's drying, it's not really red red. It's not really, I don't know. It's kind of an orange red, really. It's not even blood red anymore. Um, 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 um deep, deep red. That looks purple. Oh my goodness, I squeezed that way too hard. So don't be fooled by the colors on the tubes. Read your tubes, because it's a plum. It's beautiful colors, but don't go by the, you're going to have to, you're going to have to have a swatch chart with these, because I don't believe they're labeled correctly. It just says violet.
Now keep in mind, this was violet in the other set made by the same people. And this was dark purple. Look at them. They don't have them labeled right. This is a very dark purple. Very dark. I mean, no matter how much you stretch it out, that's a dark purple. It's not going to go violet either. Okay, it says blue. Let's see what we get. Okay, by George, it's blue. This one says it is the Ultra Marine, which was this one, and this was the blue. So let's see. Same company, same tubes of paint, but labeled differently. Yeah, it's about close to the same. That's about the same as that one. And I wouldn't, I said I wasn't going to do the ones I had already swatched, but because of the labeling, I am. And this one is supposed to be... Now, this one is supposed to be this one, and this one is supposed to be this one. So, let's see. I don't know. Can y'all tell the difference in those two? Okay. This one is this one, and this one is supposed to be this one, which is clearly not. I would stick with a little pack, guys, because, I mean, these are vibrant colors. They're beautiful. But, you know, I can't say that all of them are going to be labeled correctly. Now, this one just says blue. So, let's see what this one is. And they are, you know, they do have some Chinese, Japanese, Korean writing on them. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. See, now this one is this one. Just a little thicker, but yeah, I believe it's the same one. I like this color a lot. Okay, what is this one? This one says Pre Prussian blue. kind of cloudy. Yeah, that's really dark blue. It'd be great for a night sky though, wouldn't it? Pretty. I like it. Alright. Is that all the blues? Now this says Payne's Gray. Let's see what we get in gray. Okay, guys. I know I just got new glasses, but... Do y'all see gray? Keep watering it down. Let's see if I can get gray out of this. Well, it's a bluish gray if you get it really watery. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it is if it isn't. Alright, let me switch over to another piece of paper. I'm almost done with them. It's green. Uh, yellow green. This should be interesting. So let's go yellow green. Um, 
tree green. Okay, I can already tell I like that one. <laughs> I don't know if I should read this. The name of this is Hooker's Green Brilliant. I swear, I kid you not. like a hunter green. Maybe they mistook the words. <laughs> yeah, not judging it. Emerald green. Deep. Okay. I'm not seeing a lot of difference. Let's see what we get. Pretty. It's kind of a yellowish green. You know what it said it was? What did it say it was? Yep, yellow green. I like it. Oh, there goes the camera again. Hold on, guys. I'll put my hand up here for you. It's this white shirt. This is the tree green. Mmm. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like the other one better. The other pack. Alright, this is the hooker. Well, that's just a nasty little hooker there, isn't it? Because that's ugly. It has a dirty color. It's really like a dark forest green. I'm going to say hunter green even. So, I think they messed up their words. And this is the emerald green. Oh, yeah, I like the emerald green a lot. That is pretty. This will be good for forest scenes, trees and stuff. Nature. Now, let's move to our browns. I have a um, yellow. I can't see it. Sorry, even my glasses on, I can't see that last word. I'm going to say it's going to be like a golden yellow, though. Then there is... What? This says it's red. Red, O-C-H-U-R-E, which was the same word behind that yellow. So, let's see. For sure. I don't know. I don't want to butcher it too bad. Oh. Oh, log cabin color. Yeah, I like that. It does, you can tell it's like a reddish brown. This is umber. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, this one is Burn Sienna. Okay, yeah, that one looks right too. And this is Burned Brown. Okay. Now, I'm kind of going by acrylic colors because that's what I'm used to working with. But yeah, that looks about right for burnt brown. And the last one, of course, is black. Cold black. Yeah, kind of like a mustard yellow. Okay, hold on. My 
computer's messing up. Okay, I'm back. Same thing happened to Mary Atia earlier today. She wanted, she was recording in her Windows update and it just tried to do it to me too. So I'm going to finish this up and get off. I'm going to say this one was. I like it. This is the red o o c h r e o u c h r e. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of like a log cabin color. This one is the uh, umber. Uh, okay. These are all great for this whole set here. It's right here, this section here is great for nature prints, nature painting. So, yeah, I'm happy with them. I mean, they weren't really expensive. A few of them are mislabeled, but that's okay. I don't remember that. This is the burnt brown. Yeah, I like this a lot. This would be good for when you're painting ships and stuff. Yeah, I like that a lot. And, of course, how do you mess up cold black? You don't. There you go. So, let me show you the box top. This is a larger set. And the smaller set looks the exact same. If you go to Amazon, um, it's Artist Transparent Watercolor. Paul Rubens. It's Shanghai. That's where it's from. So, um, it's a 24 color tube loaded artistic grade watercolor paints. And the other one is the, um, this one is the, um, uh, 14 color opera watercolor tube set. So there is a difference between this and this. This is the opera colors, which means they're just a little brighter. These are more realistic. And then the Jane Davenport is also on Amazon. And it's in this case. It's in the blue case. And these are the brights. She has several different colors. so And they're all in different tins. So this is the teal tin. And this is the brights, which were the first ones I swabbed. So guys, I hope you get you some watercolors and join us every Wednesday night. It's 7 o'clock Easter time for our paint party. And we won't always be doing watercolors. We'll do other things as well as far as painting goes. But I hope you'll join us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.